Welcome back to Iron Fury Plays Pokemon Yellow Version Randomized Nuzlocke, and today we are going to head into the final gym, but first we have to go over the team. So I said I was going to raise him to level 60. I actually went to 65. My logic being that, first off, depending on Giovanni's levels, we may need to grind up a little more than I anticipated, and I want to make sure that we're set for Victory Road and possibly the just complete end of the game. But anyway, let's go over the team. Welcome, Moon and Star. Dagothur welcomes you, friend. Look at this beautiful, beautiful creature with those fantastic stats. Ah, oh, just fantastic. And this moveset is finally just a marvel to behold. With Psychic, Crab Hammer, Fire Blast, and Jump Kick. Up next, we have Audrey 2, the Grass Poison type Victory Bell with... Stats that are not that bad on their own. Um, I mean, obviously they're not going to be as hard-hitting as some of the other Pokemon we have on the team, but for a Victory Bell, that's pretty good. And we have Sludge, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Cut. We just have not changed this moveset, and there's really no reason to. Like, this moveset is just about perfect. The only thing I wish I could change if I had anything to change is to no longer have Cut, because we really don't need it anymore. But, since this is Gen 1 and we can't get rid of HMs, there's nothing we can do. Up next, we have Stargazer the Alakazam. Which, at this point, this is a redundant Pokemon, but I don't care. Psychics are broken in Gen 1. Um, and again, great speed, great special. And just a fantastic moveset with Psybeam, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, and Blizzard. If I were to somehow get another chance at Psychic, obviously Alakazam would get it, but to be honest with you, this is perfectly good. Up next is our starter, Kinikuman the Machamp, with, again, fantastic attack, uh, decent defense, and honestly, just not bad stats in general, with Slash High Jump Kick, Submission, and Fly. Up fifth, we have Ride the Lightning, our Zapdos, with pretty good stats. Uh, you know, not as good as our Mewtwo, but, you know, still pretty good. Um, with just, an, again, another fantastic move set. And last, but certainly not least, we have Steve R. Jolteon. Again, another redundant Pokemon, but who cares? I love this Pokemon. Um, with Thunderbolt, Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. Again, another perfect moveset. Alright. So, a couple things. First and foremost, free item. <laughs> okay. That'd be good for Victory Road. Um, let's take on the trainers. I just got here. I'm not running out of steam. And you're facing my Mewtwo. So, no. Oh, you have a Seedra. How cute. Come to me through fire and war. Face the wrath of Dagother. Yeah, we're way overpowered for these trainers, but that's okay. You did. I'd imagine you are. You seem like that kind of person. I don't know. Could just be me. Hey, you have Al Gore. This calls for a celebration. Too bad I'm just gonna psychic the shit out of you. Dodrio. Yeah, this is just this is fodder for Dagother. I know that's not really saying much because one, we're over leveled, and also it's a Mewtwo, but still. Okay, that's cool. It's cool that you got a little band going. Oh, you have a whip. You're talking about slavery. Got it. 
Really? More Cedras? Okay. Come on, give me something that I can at least use one of my other moves for. Tentacruel. Nah, I'm good. Alright. Let's get you out of the way. Oh, he's the Karate Kid. Okay. Let's see how well this, uh, this fares. Man, y'all just were like, let's build a gym that a Mewtwo can destroy. Oh ho ho ho! You have your own ride to lightning. Oh, that sucks for you. How the hell has this thing not gotten a level yet? Good God. I know that it's in the higher end of uh, experience gains, but still. There we go. Jesus Christ. You know what? It's better than Jump Kick. I'll take Confusion. With that special attack stat, that's still, you know. Do I have just an Ether? I don't want to use a full Elixir. Oh, well. I'm not gonna use that. I can't justify that. Let's go down this way. Oh, never mind. Let's go this way. There we go. Well, that's just fucking rude. This fucking guy. You gonna crack the whip on my Pokemon? Oh ho ho! Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just saying, I don't think so. I know I should be switching Pokemon, but still. Alright. Now I'm gonna switch. Alright. Alright. What do we got here? Come on, jump. You. How adorable. I'm gonna sludge it. Yeah, you ain't shit, boy. Yeah, I see that. Door wouldn't be open if he wasn't. Oh, right on! Neat. Too bad Ice Beam's just gonna take it apart and break it and batter it. 
Yeah, that. That don't surprise me. A Chansey? This might actually get us a level. But I could be wrong. Yeah, get that fat piece of shit out of here. Oh, wow. Shockingly, no. Oh my god, it's Giovanni! Wow! Okay, um... <clears throat> let's prepare my voice. As if I was genuinely shocked by this. <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Yeah, man. <laughs> you came at me with a Fero? He starts at level 60, so that's good to know. I'm gonna assume his strongest Pokemon is probably like... 67, 68. A Primate? Wow, this is just... This is just Audrey 2 fodder. Magneton? The last Magneton had Growl. Wow, you still have Growl. A Mar wow, th this is just... What the hell? Why was Koga so fucking hard? But th these people are chumps. Sabrina was a chump, Blaine was a chump, and Giovanni is turning out to be a chump. 65, okay, so we're right on par with Giovanni. So the Elite Four will probably be in the 70s. Oh, okay, just, just give me the battle, cool. I, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of disappointing. Huh. Let me try that again. Ha. Huh. That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, he has the Earth Badge. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon any level obey. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Hey, what do we got? Slam. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Okay, get the fuck out. Alright, so we're gonna take a trip to the Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna start heading toward Victory Road. But... I'm not gonna completely, uh... go into Victory Road just yet. I wanna take on... I want to take on Blue first, or Jerk, with my proper team, and then I will go back to the Pokemon Center, get Al Gore, because we're going to need Surf uh, to make it to Victory Road. Oh, before I do anything else, before I do anything else, we're moving to Box 3. Because we have a couple encounters coming up. And I ain't trying to... botch that. So... You know, how are we doing on money? We're doing okay. We could stand to do better, but that's okay. Also, switch Stargazer out to the front. Hey, 
Hey, here he is. Come on, jerk. What? Dave? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Dave, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if that was the smartest decision you could have made. I'm just saying. Oh, you have a Dragonite! Oh, ho ho! You actually stepped it up a little bit. Enjoy your blizzard. Welcome to Dairy Queen. I know Dragonite sure loves him his blizzards. Up. I was just praising you, and then you go and have this shit team? Get that shit out of here. This is what happens when you have a perfect moveset. I'm just saying, this is what happens when the moveset is just perfect coverage. Because I literally could just go through the moves like this and just click buttons. Hit yourself. Look. Jesus Christ. This is just... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. An Electabuzz. Oh wow, this might actually hurt. Or not. Wow, your starter is the weakest thing on your team. And it's not even close. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I just skipped that entire dialogue. I'm out of here, smell you later. Nobody gives a fuck about what I say. You're right, I don't. So we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Because... I'm going to heal the team again, and I'm going to go put Dagothar in the PC for the time being. We're going to get Al Gore out, and, uh, then we're going to head toward Victory Road. That's what I was going to say. I think Al Gore's in here. To be honest with you, I might grind one more time uh, before we actually take on the Elite Four and get the team up to level 70. I don't know. We'll see how Victory Road goes. We'll see how Victory Road goes. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell am I doing? We have somewhere to be. I completely forgot about some encounters. We have to go to the power plant. So Victory Road will be next time. We're not I'm not worried about it. We're gonna go to the power plant. And to tell you the truth, I don't need Dig Author for that. So Even though I know matter of factly that we're probably not going to be using anybody else for the rest of the game. I highly doubt that we're going to lose any Pokemon before we get to the Elite Four. Especially with how powerful this team is. I just, I don't see it happening. But. Alright. <clears throat> we do have one trainer here. Take him on real quick. Oh, 
Oh, Technician wants to... F you have a Wigglytuff, and it's level 36. Die. Hypno. Die. So we have three encounters in the power plant. We have a regular wild encounter plus two statics. So. Ice heal. Don't need that. Oh, here's one of our statics. Survey says. That's dupes. Just gonna run. Now, I if all of the magnetons, or yeah, magnetons, if all of the electrodes are the same, then that's just a lost encounter. There's nothing we can do about that. But if they're different, are they all Zapdos? They are not. We have a goal. Which I think I actually caught a Geodude already. So, I did. That's Rocky. So that's a dupe, or a species. What do we got, anything else here? Sea King, okay. Here we go. Got him. It is the male's job to make a nest yeah, by carving out boulders in a stream using the horn on its head. And of course, he's got to be fuck yeah, Sea King. Or just fuck yeah. So I am... Oh, no, we never got the actual regular wild encounter. Oh, here's our wild encounter. That's dupes. TM48 is... Earthquake. Um... Yeah, nobody I'm teaching that to. Alright, so that's gonna have to go on the PC. Um... Honestly? the Paralyze Heal as well. Is there anything else I can get rid of? I did have a regular elixir, plus a bunch of max elixirs. Oh, shit. Shows I'm paying attention. Alright, what do you got here? Oh, a Doe Duo? Don't care. Still waiting on that regular wild encounter. Alright, come on, survey says. Still ride on, still dupes.
TM26. Minimize? No, I don't think we'll be getting that. Zubat, no thank you. Alright, come on. Give me something that's not dupes. A Starmie! I'll take that! That is not dupes. Listen, I'm trying to not hurt you. Thank you. And he is going to be Patrick. Now we can use our repels. Also, I'll use super potions. Thunderstone, don't need that. Ultra Ball, could always use more of those. A primate party have you. That's towards the end, so I'm not trying to go there yet. I want to get every item that I possibly could, because it's either going to be selling fire, or it's going to be a Pokemon, but we're not really looking to get the Pokemon. We just want the selling fodder. So... Pokemon... Oh, no! I could have had a Gengar! Could have had a nine tails. Okay, I th think that's everything. Moltres! Okay, I will take that. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I have anything that can hit this. Um... I'm gonna go to Stargazer. Actually, no, I'm gonna go to Steve. I'm gonna... I can't use either of those. Going back to Stargazer. He has Fire Blast. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. Okay. I'll take that.
We got it! Let's go! We got all three legendary birds. Look at that shit. So, we had Ride the Lightning. We had Trapped Under Ice. To go with the theme, it's Fight Fire with Fire. Or FFWF. Let's fucking go! Alright. So we are going to fly... No, we're not going to check stats. I'm going to fly back to Viridian City. I am going to do my item management. And in between parts, um, yeah, I'm going to do my item management and then we will head toward Victory Road. But that'll be for next time. So next episode is probably going to be all of Victory Road and then we'll have the finale. So, um... Yeah, we're winding down. But until next time, take care.